universal tendency is. Actually, soul tendency is kind of individual characters of the soul. So we have a, each of us have own characteristic tendency of the soul. And that creates who we are. And today, I would, to, I, would, I would like to go deeper and think about overcoming negative soul tendency. Actually, last week, I too much focus on negative soul tendency. However, the tendency has both positive soul tendency and negative. First of all, why we meditate? So this is meditation session, and here is meditation center. And happy science is more meditation oriented activities. So why we meditate? This is not just relaxing, or this is not recovering from stress. The purpose of meditation is more serious. Purpose of meditation is to change our lives by examining our thoughts. <coughs> so as we look at at first, we have 60,000 thoughts in 16 hours every day and more than 80% negative thoughts. About the thought, again Marcus Aurelius said, happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thought. It means very simple. If you have positive quality of your thought, you will have happiness. If you have negative quality of the thought, you have to have problem or unhappiness. The Roman Emperor he discovered this simple truth. However, usually, usually, we don't think about this. Usually, we don't seriously consider the quality of our thoughts. And every day, we just let many thoughts, many thoughts come and go in our head. However, what's happening in your head? There's so many thoughts come and go. For example, maybe in this area, everybody <coughs> drive a car. So if you're driving, driving a car, especially traffic, and, and uh, you are about to be late to the next appointment, and crazy driver cut in in front of your car, and what do, what do you feel? What do you think? Yeah. <coughs> you just let you just let such kind of thought come and go in, in, in your head. And if you if you hear someone else or your friend uh, attain success or promote it in the company and you you try to celebrate at the same time you feel jealous so this kind of thoughts so we always allow the thoughts come, go during the day and we need to think about how have you ever 
Have you ever examined your thought about six, 60,000 thoughts a day? So examining our thoughts is the purpose of meditation. So that is the real purpose of meditation. So by meditating, so we can examine what kind of thoughts we have and what kind of effect these thoughts create in our lives. So again, the soul tendency has both positive and negative thought. So positive soul tendency, for example, always thinking about helping others or contributing the company, society or country. So there must be this, this kind of people. And negative soul tendency, so in the last session uh, we, we learned several types of negative soul tendency. But actually we have both. So each one of them, not only negative soul tendency, but also positive soul tendency. So what are soul ten tendency anyway? The soul tendency is individual characteristics of the soul. And every day we have many thoughts. And as we allow many thoughts come and go in the head, we create tendencies of the soul. And then, if you have certain situations, automatically you have certain reaction or certain thought. So that is tendency. So certain situation trigger certain reaction. And you cannot control your thought. Because it's already your tendency. So that is a tendency. So we create it. It's kind of addiction. <laughs> it's mental addiction. And, and that is what we created by ourselves. So tendency, negative soul tendency. For example, creating love from others. So if you're a hard worker, and if you are intelligent, so you tend to fall in this trap. So because you realize you are excellent. So that's why you need more people's acknowledgement, people's place, people's positive evaluation, remarks from others. So that is blaming rub from others and if you keep on doing this you create this tendency and so torture this is another negative very negative tendency if you have negative experience uh, to be hard you know someone hurt you in the past and you will see huge damage mentally, spiritually, and then you create the negative tendency, and that tendency expect to be hard again by others. So it's like inviting another, another negative experience from others. So that is self-torture. 